Hello, these are instructions for epoxy mount. Once your metal samples are cut, we're going to mount them in an epoxy like this, making it easier to hold them on the grinding wheels for metallography. These blue cups are what we'll pour the epoxy into. You prepare them by taking a bottom and snapping it on. Make sure you have a lip on both sides. And then use labeling tape to label your sample. If a sample is going to go in flat, this space here, you can just put it in the cup. But if you need one of the edges down for metallography, then you can secure it in a sprung clip like this. This spring will hold your sample and then you can put the cut sample Again, the part that you want to do the metallography on needs to be down. Before adding epoxy, we're going to put a mold release in the cups. This has a wand and I coat the inside and put the sample in. Now we're ready to make the epoxy. In the lab we have different size cups for measuring out epoxy depending on how much you need. Each one of the blue molds holds a half an ounce of epoxy and so for doing two in this example I'm going to need one fluid ounce. The amount of epoxy that I need will be one fluid ounce, so I'll measure out my resin, one fluid ounce, and then the appropriate amount of hardener. Each epoxy is different. For this slow cure epoxy, the ratio is five parts resin to one part hardener. So I'm going to put in here, I'm going to tear this cup on the scale, And I'm going to put one, a measured one fluid ounce of resin. See how much that weighs in grams? 34.2. And then divide by five and add that much hardener. Okay, so I need 6.84 grams of hardener. So what I'm going to do is re-tear this to zero and add 6.84 grams. It's best to just pump some hardener out into a cup and slowly pour into your sample. Now the trick to a good epoxy is stirring and our rule is to stir one minute per ounce. So I need to now stir this for one minute and get a good mix. Once I'm finished stirring, I'm going to pour the epoxy into the mouth. Three 
three quarters full. Three quarters full is sufficient, and if you get it too thick, it makes it hard to focus on the microscope. If you have leftover epoxy, just put it in the hood for uh, it to harden and then it can be thrown away. Now because we've stirred this epoxy so vigorously, we want to remove any air bubbles to make sure air bubbles don't weaken our hold on our sample. To do that, we're going to go to this vacuum system over here. In order to pull a vacuum, we're going to first take the dome off. Place our samples inside. Put the dome back on. This is a trap, so we want to put the lid on the trap. And then a pump is over here to pull the vacuum, so we'll turn on the pump. You can see by the gauge, the vacuum is being pulled. So we let that go to 25. This is inches of mercury. inches you can then turn the pump off and let that sit under vacuum for about five minutes. After five minutes you can release the vacuum by turning your dial face towards the E. There's a hole there that will vent the vacuum. Once the vacuum has vented, then you can remove the dome. Your samples are inside and can be moved over to this tray. Label the tray with your name, put it in the back of the hood, and when you return, you should have hardened epoxy. Thanks.